Hello and welcome to a new video about my motor controller, MQTT motor controller. Right now it's just a bunch of parameters and today we want to add a line command so that we can change the parameters. Right? This is our goal today. I have also written a, a library which is called line command and I will include this library now, you can download it. Uh, but however, you know, this line command is very central to my little ecosystem here. And so it is including quite a lot of different other libraries. Be aware of this if you download line command. All right. So line command, command, I will call it. What do we need? Command board and the debug board, right? The command board is where the, the command will, will look and it's both, for us, it's both serial, serial, yeah? So one is the output, one is the input. All right. So this is command. And actually we need to tell the command that we have parameters. Add parameters and we need a pointer to parameter. This is params. Or how is it called? Params. Yeah. This we don't need. Now we know that it is params and we just need to read the command info cmd dot read input okay here we will need a verbose also Okay, so I'm going to include this verbose as well. Uh, you know this verbose already from previous videos. This is actually something we we have in there that we can manage how this is talking. However, this time I want to make it different. This time I want to the, that we have different verboses. Uh, one for, for instance, one for MQTT connection, one for Wi-Fi connection. Huh? So how do I achieve this? How do I achieve this? Well, I will do again. If we have different robots, then we would need different names also. So I will add again a header file. And I will call it repose names. All right. And the same as here, actually. Maximum repose, how many do we need? 10. I think that's enough. Yeah. And then I will use again, I will simply copy this. Yeah. And for me, 10, we said 10. Uh, it's pretty much working the same like, like the parameter names. Okay, and then I also only need the this constant. I will copy this also from an old program. Good. Good. Actually, what we also need then is uh, the offsets in the in 
These verboses can be stored as well in the in the EEPROM. Yeah? So the verbose levels is are in the EEPROM, and I will add this in the EEPROM offsets. Okay, so define. Offset verbose with a common. This should be a 300. That's good. Far away from the parameters that we have around. Uh, and then we had a Wi Fi verbose 301. And it's always a byte, this verbose byte. Yeah. And IoT verbose 302. And in this byte, you can select if you want to have debug output, if you want to have informational output, if you want to have error output, if you want to have warning output, and so on. This is, and this should be stored at this at these uh, positions. All right, it should be stored at these positions. Now, let's add those verbose things. We have a verb common, verb post common. Then we had a verb pose Wi-Fi. And we have a verb pose IoT. Those three, these are currently just pointers. And I will produ produce them here. <laughs> verb common. Is case new verbose, and here we have several. It's not a byte. This one we need an offset and character name. And the offset is this is this verb now off verb common. Uh, and the name, I don't need it, I'll do it like this. And I have to cast this, unsigned int that this exactly knows which variant it should call. Okay, verb common, then we do this with Wi-Fi. And with IoT, whatever is inside there now. Then we said, okay, the repose is located in the EEPROM at this position. All right. I'll do this. What is it called? The Bose names, not the Bose names. Yes. Oh, I need to include this. Ha ha ha. Now it should work. Yes. Zero. One. Two. Okay, I made in the parameters. Semicolon. I made in the parameters. I'm also adding the verbose. Common. Verb Wi-Fi uh, 
IoT. Good, I have now added the verbose levels and now I can make the read input and now I have a verbose I can give and this is verbose common. Okay, now we read the input and actually I think that's it. Standard. Standard. Maybe a little bit. Combining. If you have already some code you can rely on, it's easier to achieve goals. Yeah? That's the big benefit of libraries. I strongly advise if you want to have something you can reuse to write a library for this. Upload a process failed. Why is this? Uh, maybe I have to replug. Uh, sounds good. Upload. Turn it off and on again. It, this will work until the last technical system is gone, destroyed. Turn it off and on again. It work, it's working since ages and it will work for ages. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Port open. Okay, this is still working. And I will get param. No. Ah, because hoo, 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 it is not working because I'm I'm staying inside this. Ah, damn it! Sorry. I'm staying. I'm not. Of course, this. If this is not working pretty well, okay, then let's comment this. Let's forget about this. I am not reaching this code yeah, because I the loop takes ages to finish. Yeah, this cannot be. This should not be as it is. I want to check the check the line command. I hate those uploaders. Finally. Okay, now nothing should do. Uh, get param. Enter number zero. PVM frequency. Aha. Mm -hmm. 40. Yeah. Get param 1. Zero zero eight. Okay. PVM PWM resolution. Okay. Get verbose zero. Set. Get verbose zero. Verb both. Okay, everything is on. Common Wi-Fi, everything is on, and good. Then we'll do a set the both zero to zero. Yeah, one to zero, two to zero. Okay, and now we do again. You see, it's working pretty well already. Uh, get the balls. Okay, everything is off now. Start debug zero. <laughs> Let's debug. Yeah. Okay. All right, 
So I can influence now. What is if it's my set param? Zero to this was eighty. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright. I must have zero dot eighty, probably. Yes. Good. So we can set set and reset parameters. The only thing, you know, these parameters are stored uh, times 100. Uh, because if you want, they are stored always at is an integer value. And the standard definition is that those parameters are uh, in, in floating point. Floating point with two commas. And this is why it's written that way. That if I enter 80, it's actually 8000. So I should use 0 0.80. Hmm. Ah. This is maybe not that nice, but it's working, all right? At least it's working. Good. Uh, so we have the line command online. We have the line command. This is nice. I think that's that's it for, for today. We had to oppose, we had line command. We can influence now the parameters from outside. Now it's time then to connect to, to my Wi-Fi network here. I will also do this by this line command because this supports this and yeah, that we're connecting Wi-Fi. This will do in next video. Wi-Fi with my line command library. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.